All right, um, cool stuff. So let's get into this problem. Now, I like this problem a lot, and I'm not gonna, actually I'll do it the old way just because I can do it really quickly. Um, so let's just do it the real old way real quick over here, and then you guys can see, um, just so you can see, I'll use the same operations. Then I'm just gonna kinda show you a faster way that I would do this problem. So here I have negative, um, negative times w plus five equals negative 14. Remember that when you have a negative sign, um, that is the same thing as negative one times w plus five equals negative 14. All right, now I can apply this derivative property. So negative one times w is a negative w. Negative one times five is a negative five equals negative 14. Now I have a two-step equation, so I'm going to use my inverse operations. Okay, then I'll divide by negative one, because again, remember, negative is the negative one, so I'm going to undo multiplying multiply by negative one by dividing by negative one, and end up getting w equals nine. There's nothing wrong with that. That's perfectly fine. That's exactly how I've taught it before. It works. Here's another way I just want you to understand and look at, because a lot of times we don't even need to use the distributive property. We can get away with undoing the distributive property. Remember, as long as I'm using the properties of equality, whatever I do on one side, I can do on the other side. So we take a look at this. Remember, our goal is to get our w by undo by itself. So I have negative 1 times w plus 5 equals a negative 14. Well, we always say the inverse operation is to undo addition and subtraction, right? So you'd have to undo 5. Well, be careful, that's not a positive five, that's actually a negative five. So what I can do, it's possible now, I can actually undo this multiplication to actually undo what's really happening to the variable. So to undo multiplication of positive or a negative one, I need to divide by a negative one. Therefore, that was gonna go to one, one times w plus five is w plus five equals a positive 14. Now I'm at a one-step equation where I could subtract by five and I get w equals nine. So what you can see is the exact same answer. So it's really important for you to understand that, yes, we still use inverse operations and it's important for you to apply the distributive property so you can use those inverse operations. However, be careful, you cannot use inverse operations when they're inside the parentheses because that means it's being multiplied by something so it's actually not your real value. The same thing if a w plus five was divided by something. If it was already divided by negative one, remember um, we worked on that, we undid our divisor, so we just have um, the w plus five as a question. So hopefully that makes a little sense. I didn't get too much into it for you, but uh, you, know, you can use either way that, makes your, uh, that you're comfortable with. All right, thanks.